Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1982 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Cleveland Indians and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Indians is Len Barker, whose record is 1-6 with a 4.26 ERA. And pitching for the Tigers today is Jack Morris, whose record is 7-1 with a 2.66 ERA. And so we lost a heartbreaker in extra innings yesterday, 5-4 uh, to four to the Indians. Uh, that was game two of this three-game series. It was uh, an exciting game, though. Uh, <laughs> we had uh, Reggie Jackson hit his eighth home run of the season, his 400th career home run. That tied the game at four, and then we just could not hang on as... Uh, uh, Capazello gave up uh, the go-ahead run in the top of the 10th, and uh, that was it for the Tigers. We went down uh, silently in the bottom of the 10th inning. So kind of a bummer of a game. We, uh, the Indians are playing us tough. Our record is 5-5 five and five against them uh, so far this season, and uh, we have a good matchup today. We have uh, Jack Morris uh, facing Len Barker. Let's go ahead and get started with today's game as always. I appreciate everyone following along, like, and, or subscribe. Today is the last robot race uh, for the, uh, uh, to be able to get into the bracket. And we only have one contestant left. So that spot will be his, but he will be racing me during the seventh inning stretch. Not me physically, my robot will be my, my avatar in this race. And so, uh, you know, to make it fun, uh, and then uh, the next game that we play will be at home versus Boston. And I will reveal what the contest uh, winnings will be. So uh, stay tuned for that today. And then come back next, uh, the next game for the uh, information on what is uh, available for the contest winner. So, okay, here we go. We have Jack Morris on the mound. He is doing a good job. He's 7-1. and one. With that 266 ERA of 115 plate appearances in this Indians lineup against them. They're batting 275, so uh, I guess you could say he struggled a little bit. All of the bullpen is available. Let's take a look at the lineup today. Uh, you know, did I update this? No, I didn't. Let me just fix this last uh, little uh, arrangement of the, uh, the lineup. We're going to put him there, there, there. And there. Okay. There we go. There's our lineup today. Because we had um, Hatcher have the day off yesterday. And then he came in and got a pinch hit. And uh, almost brought us back. to gave us a chance to win. But no such luck. Okay. So there we go. Let's go ahead and do the official lineup rundown for the Cleveland Indians. We should take a look here at the season stats. Batting leadoff, playing second base is Kevin Romberg. Batting second and DHing is Carl Pegel. Batting third at first base is Jim Wilson. Batting cleanup in right field is Dan Pasqua. Batting fifth and catching today is Bo Diaz. Batting sixth in left field is Jerry Turner. Batting seventh at third base is Tommy Brookins. Batting eighth in center field is Von Hayes. And batting ninth. Playing shortstop today is Tom Verizer. Here's Jack. Let's just get right to the log. There we go. Uh, wow, he's won four in a row, four decisions in a row. Uh, he got a no decision versus Toronto. He did not pitch well that game at all. His worst start of the season. So, uh, but he bounced back from that stinker with a seven inning uh, appearance where he gave up five hits and three walks. So, uh, he has been pitching really solid. Uh, he's our ace right now. Dave Rosema has a lower ERA, but uh, has struggled. Uh, uh, you know, hasn't been as consistent, I guess is the way to put it. The walk-to-strikeout ratio is uh, upsetting, but uh, he hasn't given up very many hits. B opponents are betting under 200 against him. He does have a complete game shutout. He's just missed two other uh, complete games this season. This is the 10th start for Morris. Let's see how far he can go today. Take a look at the Tigers' defensive alignment. All of the regulars in today. And uh, here's Kevin Romberg leading off the first against Jack Morris. 
and a base hit up the middle. So there's the first hit right off the bat. Romberg, batting average over 300, and we know he steals. I think he has eight. Uh, yes, he has eight stolen bases, including one yesterday. Runner on first. Here's Carl Pagel, and it looked like a... Uh, I thought it was a pitch out, but it was a wild pitch by Morris, and Romberg is in scoring position. So... Morris in a jam early on here, striking out Pagel for the first out. Next up is rookie Jim Wilson, having a solid rookie campaign, striking out on an inside fastball. So back-to-back -back strikeouts, and Morris is one pitch from getting out of this inning. And he strikes out the side to get out of that little mini jam there. Great job by Morris. We go to the bottom of the first. Let's do the Tigers lineup rundown. Starting with Kirk Gibson leading off in left field today. Batting second at first base, Greg Brock. Batting third at third base is Mickey Hatcher. Batting cleanup and DHing today is Reggie Jackson. Batting fifth in center field is Ricky Henderson. Batting 6th and catching today is Lance Parrish. Batting 7th at 2nd base is Sweet Lou Whitaker. Batting 8th in right field is Andre Dawson. And batting ninth at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Okay, let's take a look at Len Barker real quick. Len Barker in his 7th season has not won 10 games in a season yet. I was kind of surprised to see that. When I was doing a little earlier research, I uh, won in six on the year, making his 10th start, uh, a 426 ERA. So not horrible, but despite the record. 41 Ks in 57 innings pitched. Opponents are betting 271 against him. No complete games. He's got a 95 mile an hour fastball, but his curveball is his out pitch. He's got a hard curve, rated an 89 with a fastball and a changeup mixed in. Here is the defensive alignment for the Indians today with Bo Diaz catching. First time we're seeing him this series. Otherwise, everybody else is the same. So let's start it off with Kirk Gibson. 0 for 7 in his career against Len Barker. Hitting a pop-up on the infield, carrying to the outfield grass. And the play is made by Verizer. Next up is Greg Brock. The Brock Nest Monster. We had a contest on uh, the Baseball Mogul 2021 Facebook group page. And I tossed out all the ideas that we'd had so far for his um, nickname. And the Brock Nest Monster won in a landslide. That's what we're going with. Uh, Brocky McBrockface was a late entry. Thought it was pretty funny. Uh, but uh, didn't get it done in the end. So here is the Brock Nest Monster. With one down, hitting a ground ball to short. So second out of the inning, here's Mickey Hatcher coming off a, basically a day off yesterday, and he strikes out. So one, two, three inning. We go to the top of the second with Bo Diaz leading off, betting 043, four consecutive strikeouts for Jack Morris as he sets Bo Diaz down. Next up is Jerry Turner. Turner had three hits in yesterday's game. Hitting a ground ball to second. Two down, and Tommy Brookins had a costly error and then came back and got a big hit late in the game, striking out five strikeouts for Morris so far. Unbelievable. Okay, we go to the bottom of the second. We have Reggie leading off Reggie, Ricky, Lance, do up. Reggie hit his 400th career home run yesterday, flying out to a right center field. There's one down. Next up is Ricky, and Ricky hits a fly ball to left. Ricky Henderson, batting average down to 239, and he's uh, always tired, so I don't know what to do with Ricky. I mean, I guess if he could get into 130 games on the season, that's probably all right. But uh, expected more out of him, obviously, with his stolen bases being what they are. We go to the top of the third. And Von Hayes gets a base at the left. 
second hit against Morris. Runner on first. We're going to pull the third baseman in in case Verizer decides to lay down a bunt. Striking him out. Wow. Six Ks for Morris. We're in the third. So Hayes is on first for Kevin Romberg. Romberg gets a line drive to second, and Hayes got doubled off first base. An unorthodox double play, but we'll take it. We go to the bottom of the third. Tiger's still looking for a hit. We have Sweet Lou, Dawson, and Trammell up. Whitaker grounding out to short. And then Dawson walks. We'll take it. That means a hit and run from our number nine hitter, Alan Trammell. Last year, Trammell was in the number three spot. Now he's batting ninth. Base hit up the middle, though. There's the Tigers' first hit. One down, runners on first and second for Gibby. Gibby batting 266 versus right-handers. And he hits a ground ball to short, and that'll be a double play. Oh, no, they didn't turn two. That was tailor-made. But uh, Gibby beat it out at first. I guess it was a slow roller. So first and third with two down. And here he is, the Brock Ness Monster. Oh, he nubbed it right back to Barker. All right. You got to earn that nickname, Brock. You go to the top of the fourth, no score. Carl Pagel leading off, three for 15 in his career versus Morris. Grounding out to first, one down. Jim Wilson up next, ground ball to first. Back to back ground balls to Brock. I'll leave it up to Pasqua to get a rally going. Oh. He did more than that. He put a run on the board with the home run to right center field. That is Pasqua's fourth home run of the season. And the Tigers are down one to nothing. We are really struggling with the hitting right now. As uh, Diaz pops out. We go to the top, uh, I'm sorry, the bottom of the fourth. Mickey Hatcher. Leading off, ground ball to third. One down. Red Jay up next with a ground ball to short. Oh man, this game's moving along. I'll say that much. Okay, Ricky, stolen base attempt here because of the walk. Let's get in the score. Everybody knows he's going. And here's this if, if this is your first game you're watching, uh, this is hard for you to believe, probably. But Ricky is 9 out of 21 on stolen bases. So, we have to try. Lance Parrish is at the plate. And a curveball, and he does steal second base. I guess that a pitcher whose primary pitch is a curveball, maybe there's a greater opportunity? I mean, logically, I suppose, as Parrish walks. Three walks for Barker. First and second now for Sweet Lou. We need a clutch hit here, somebody. Not Lou. Lou flies out to center for the third out. We are not able to get anything going as we go to the top of the fifth. Morris at 61 pitches facing Jerry Turner. Ground ball to first, there's one down. Tommy's up next, ground ball to short. And then Vaughn Hayes hitting a high fly ball to right. And there's the third out. So one, two, three inning. Both pitchers pretty much in control. We go to the bottom of the fifth with Andre Dawson leading off. Dawson, ground ball to second. Trammell up next. There we go. Trammell's two for two on the day. He's got both Tigers hits. All right, let's hit and run. Try to get anything going here on the base pass. Ground ball by Gibby. The first baseman, Wilson, steps on the bag. Trammell on second. And Brock, once again, has the chance to be the hero today. I'll take a walk. Four walks by Barker. 82 pitches. So he's running his pitch count up. Here's Mickey Hatcher. 
And he gets it off the end of the bat, lifts it up to right center field, and that'll be it. So the Tigers can't hit the soft stuff today. As uh, we go to the top of the sixth, with Tom Verizer leading off. Don't forget, we got the robot race coming up here. Middle half of next inning, as Verizer hits a ground ball to Brock. One down. This feels like a game where an error is going to be the difference. As Romberg hits a ground ball to Short. And then Carl Pagel, fly ball to left. Morris hasn't struck anybody out since the third inning. To go to the bottom of the sixth, we got Reggie leading off. Henderson and Lance Parrish. There we go. Finally, somebody else brings the lumber other than Trammell. Reggie's on first. We're going to let Ricky swing away. Maybe we're getting closer to hitting this guy. That's not going to get it done. Fly ball to left by Ricky. There's one down. Parrish, not exactly in a slump, but he hasn't had a home run in a while. He right, crushes it to center field. It's a cavern out there, though. 406 feet. Okay. Okay, Reggie tags up. Takes second base. That was a calculated risk, but right now we need anything to get a run on the board. Maybe Lou could come through. Ground ball up the middle and snagged by the shortstop, Verizer. We go to the top of the seventh. one nothing, Cleveland. Why is this terrible team always play us so hard? Morris walks his first batter to lead off the seventh. Runner on first for Dan Pasqua. Pasqua popping it up. He's a, the only run was uh, the home run by Pasqua earlier. And then there's an error by Trammell. All right. Well, I mean, there's not much we could do at this point. A walk and an error. A wild pitch. And now it'll be a pass ball. Oh, strikes him out. There's the seventh K. Um, I almost feel like we should intentionally walk him, but um, just keep pulling the infield in. It's a left-handed batter. There's a base hit the middle. All right, well, what are you gonna do? I guess we play everybody back now. Try to turn two. Ground ball to second. There's the third run. Another hit. This one from Von Hayes. Riser walks. And that'll clear the bases. All right. Well, the uh, the walk, the air, I mean, it was, we were going to get mogled no matter what. There was nothing you could do about it. <clears throat> so a great game by Morris is completely for naught. We're going to bring in Capizello, yesterday's loser. And a ground ball to short for Pagel. And it's six to nothing. Nothing like giving up five runs before you go to the robot race. All pissed off. Uh, go super screen. Here we go. It's the robot race. There's only one spot left. It's for Duglad B. I'm out here trying to pace this robot, give him something to feel good about. Uh, of course, the uh, as I mentioned earlier, we're going to announce what the prize will be officially in the next game against the uh, Boston Red Sox. Uh, each race from here on out will be a one-on-one -on -one race, just like this, where the winner will advance and the loser will be broken up into parts. All right, we're going to count down from three. There's 45 seconds on the clock. Let's get Duglad into the final spot. Three, two, one. Well... Duglad has been struggling uh, pretty much every race. We're giving him, a, we're trying to give him a little bit of a chance here, but clearly I'm the superior robot. Oh, I shouldn't have smoked so soon as uh, I'm fading quickly here. Duglad just cruising along. Uh, no, I'm coming back to it. So it's not as much fun calling a race when there's only two robots. Coming down to the final 10 seconds. Duglad's going to take a sprint, but I think I'm going to come up. Yeah, that's right. 
I'm coming after you. Slow down. Oh, there we go. Now we can all feel good about two drive making it in. That's going to finish up the bracket. Let's just take a minute here and show you this bracket. And uh, it, you can find uh, who you are racing against. Let's go down here. So Diamond Princess will be facing Duglod. Oop. I'm sorry. B. There we go. All right. So the next race, the first race of the second round will be Kent versus Jeremiah. And then we're going to go clockwise. So it's going to be Don T versus Jonathan. John M versus Rob S. Diamond Princess and Duglid. We have Dave K versus Freddie. Steve M versus Russ. We have James K and Tony A. And then the final race will be Bill H versus Alan B. And then we'll advance. So that's how it's going to work out. Something to look forward to. I love giving prizes away. There might be some surprises along the way. Uh, what it will definitely not be a surprise is uh, that we will lose this game down six here in the bottom of the seventh. Andre Dawson leading off. Let's take a look at, I mean, player of the game so far, probably travel two for two so far. All right, let's get this game over with. What a bunch of junk this is. We're going to hit and run. We can't seem to get anything going as uh, Barker walks Dawson to lead off the inning. That's exactly what you want to do. You want to have put your offense put five runs on the board and then walk the first guy out. Fly ball to right by Trammell. Wild pitch. And then a ground ball to short. Dawson holds it second. Barker officially tired at 108 pitches. And there we go. Greg Brock base hitting the center field. And oh, they won't even <laughs> that won't even erase the shutout. First and second for Mickey Hatcher. And he gets a base hit in the right field. There goes the shutout. So we have ourselves a little mini rally going here. We got our first run on the board. All of this with two outs. Lots of two out rallies in this game. And then Reggie pulls it to first. And there's the final out of the inning. So six to one, we go to the top of the eighth. I guess we're going to let Cappy pitch another inning here. I mean, we're down five. There's no point in running up all the other stats. He strikes out the leadoff man, Jim Wilson, one down. Next up is Dan Pasqua, ground ball to second. And Bo Diaz, ground ball to first. Diaz, st hit list today, and I think he's batting 0-35 now. So that's going to do it for Len Barker. They're going to bring in Don Collins. I don't know who this guy is. He pitched once in 1977. 40 games for the Braves. And he's just been holding on to the dream. Uh, making his first appearance since 1977. Five years ago. Uh, still a decent rating. He could probably be on our staff. 90 miles per hour, tops out at ground ball, average pitcher, fastball's his best pitch, and that's just barely average. So let's see what Don Collins has. Ricky Henderson strikes out. A guy that hasn't thrown a pitch in the major leagues, and Ricky Henderson strikes out. One down. Lance Parrish flies out to right. Lou batting 342 versus lefties. Crushes it. That makes no damn sense at all. But we'll take it. That is Lou's sixth home run of the season. Number six. If, I mean, everybody in our team hits a consistent amount of home runs. There's no, there's no leader that just pulls away. Six to two. Here's Andre Dawson. Ground ball to first. And that'll do it. We go to the top of the ninth. We've got a couple lefties due up, so we're going to let Cappy finish off the game. Starting with Jerry Turner. Turner one for three in an RBI today. Popping out. One down. 
There's Brookins. Brookins 0 for 3 with an RBI. Strikes out on a high inside pitch. Two strikeouts for Capizello. Make it three as he strikes out Von Hayes. And we go to the bottom of the ninth. We're down four. Allen trammels up. And Trammell hits a ground ball to first. Take a Gibby out versus the lefty. We're going to bring in Glenn Wilson. Wilson hits lefties really well, batting 486. And that is no joke. He has just been ripping everybody apart. Popping it up to short. And Greg Brock. It comes down to the Brock Nest Monster. Fly ball in the center field. He finishes the day 1 for 4. Tigers lose 6 to 2. That was a incredibly disappointing. Uh, the Indians own us for some reason. I don't get it. Looks like there's going to be a trade offer. Oh, no. Nope. It was just going slow. Let's take a look at the standings. Uh, the National League. There we go. Uh, so Baltimore, one and a half games back. So they're keeping pace. Uh, they lost as well today. Um, Kansas City also lost. Let's take a look at the transactions. Uh, Wayne Garland. Oh, he fractured his skull. After yesterday's game, he was uh, maybe rock climbing. I, how would you fracture your skull? Uh, he's going to be out for two months. And uh, that's going to hurt the Cleveland Indians' chances um, for making a run at it. We'll see if they maybe make a, uh, a trade. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, I'm sorry this sucked. Usually we have some more entertaining games than this. Uh, I guess we're going to give it to Trammell. I know um, Whitaker hit the home run, but it was really meaningless. He didn't. No one came through in the clutch today. Uh, so it's going to be Trammell. Jack Morris takes the loss. He was really great uh, until the error by Trammell. And um, there was four unearned runs there. Capizello, great job in relief. Uh, Tigers had 10 strikeouts today against in the Indians, too. Don Collins comes in <laughs> as a throw to ball at the major league level in five years and uh, throws two innings. Good job by him. That's it. We're going to probably take tomorrow off uh, altogether and then come back with the first game against the Red Sox where we will be announcing the prizes for the Robot Race Contest. Okay? Uh, until then, everyone, have a great day.